Hi, I'm Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections, and today's topic is polybutylene tubing. So I'm talking about this product because I got a recent email from a reader saying that they had a client who was buying a house with polybutylene pipes or tubing, whatever you want to call it, and the home inspector said, hey, this is a problem. And then they ended up trying to get insurance on the house, couldn't get insurance. None of the insurance companies would insure this house because it had polybutylene tubing. So what's the deal? Is this a big deal? Why do we care? All right, let's dig into it. First, let's figure out what we're talking about. Polybutylene tubing is a material that was used for water distribution piping in houses from the early 80s up through the mid 90s. It was used in millions of homes all over the country and that includes Minnesota. We've got tons of houses here that have polybutylene tubing. Here at my company, we run across about one house a month where we identify this material. So it's all over the country. It looks just like PEX tubing. PEX is a modern water distribution material where the pipes bend, they flex, it's super easy to install, it saves a lot on installation costs. PEX and polybutylene tubing are almost indistinguishable. They look very similar. If you want to know the difference between the two, number one, think about when was it installed. If it was probably installed pre-mid-90s, it's surely polybutylene tubing. If it was installed after that, it's surely PEX. And then the other way is to just look at it. Now I've heard polybutylene can come in all different kinds of colors, but here in Minnesota, I've only seen one and it's gray. That's it, that's all I've ever seen. Gray material, all the same color. And then the surefire way to know that this is definitely polybutylene tubing is to look for a stamping on the pipes which says PB2110. You can almost always find it stamped on a section of pipe somewhere. That is your 100% indicator. You got polybutylene pipes or tubing. I use the terms interchangeably. So if you have it and you're buying a house that has it, why does this matter? Well, number one, as I said earlier on, you may not be able to get insurance for it. I've heard it can be extremely difficult. There's a lot of companies that won't insure it. I have not done a comprehensive survey of insurance companies. I've just heard anecdotally, it can be a huge pain. And then the other thing is that this material leaks. That's the big concern is it started leaking and there was a huge class action lawsuit. I, I heard it was like over a billion dollars that they ended up settling on this material. Now, there's no money available from that anymore, so don't try going down that path. What you need to know is the material leaks, it would leak at both the fittings, and then it would leak in the middle of the tubing. So you, you basically do have a ticking time bomb with this stuff. And when I got this recent inquiry, I started thinking to myself, hmm, we've been calling this stuff out for decades, but am I making a mountain out of a molehill? Is this still a problem? Maybe the stuff that's been there for 20 years, it's no longer a concern. Do I, do I really need to make a big deal about this? So I talked to my plumber buddy, Mark Jurdy, over at Rightmark. I said, what, what do you think about this, Mark? He said, oh, this is absolutely a ticking time bomb. He goes out to several houses in Minnesota every year that have catastrophic damage from their PB tubing, springing a leak, causes a flood, it's a big insurance problem, and then they need to clean up all of the water damage, and they need to replace all of the existing tubing in the house. So yeah, it's still a big deal even today. Even though it's been there for 20 years and it hasn't been a problem, that doesn't mean it's not going to leak tomorrow. So when we come across this during a home inspection, it's definitely one of the priority items we list in our report. And our recommendation is to have the material proactively replaced to help make sure that you're not dealing with a catastrophic leak and a big insurance problem. And of course, that's why insurance companies don't like this material. Okay, I think I've covered all my bases. I think I covered all the questions that you might ask about this. I'm Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.